We will immediately tackle inflation and bring down to a level that it was, you know, we were at zero, but actually the best number is 1%. Do you know that? You don't want it really zero. You're, but we've, we were at zero. We actually got it to exactly 1%, the perfect number. One thing every economist agrees, don't have it zero, have it like at 1%. They even say one to two, but I said, let's do one. And we had it at 1%, and we had it there for a long period of time, and we had the value of the dollar. We had it so that this country could make a lot of money. And I fought other countries where they devalued their dollar, or they devalued their currency, whether it was the pound or whether it was the yuan or the yen. And I used to fight like cats and dogs with the leaders of other countries because they were stealing from us. When they did that, they had artificial devaluations of their currency. It's a very important thing. I haven't even heard it mentioned in two years. That's a very important thing. It's very hard for us to compete when they do that artificially. And they had to pay a big price when they did it. And they never really did it for very long. I said, we're not going to do business with you anymore as a country. And they believed me. And they let it go back up. Instead of putting America last, as the Biden administration has done very, very openly and bravely, because I can't imagine saying, let's put America last. I think it takes courage. We will again put America first. Every policy. Thank you very much. We do love our country, isn't it? That's why we're here. I didn't need this. I had a very nice, easy life. It's a, this is something I didn't need, and a lot of you people don't need either. But we love our country. We have to take care of our country. We have to save our country. Every policy must be geared toward that which supports the American worker, the American family, and businesses, both large and small, and allows our country to compete with other nations on a very level playing field, which we never had until I came along and the Trump administration came along. And now we're losing it. They're moving back into China. They're moving back into these other countries. It's horrible. That means low taxes, low regulations, and fair trade, much of which I've already completed, but now will even greatly enhance. Other countries should pay for the privilege of coming into the American marketplace. They have to pay to come into our country and make all of that money.